All by myself? Well, that's no fun. Okay, sure, whatever. You can have fun with Manny Vargas. I don't care. Yeah, I'm sure you will have lots of fun with Manny Vargas and uh, Boone is dead. And uh, Jean May Crawford. No, Jean, no, no, she's dead too. No, um, Chet. Chet, right? No, Chet doesn't live here. It's the, uh, what's his name in the bottom of the, dra the dragon? Cliff, Cliff Briscoe. Cliff. So, were dinosaurs Briscoe. a pre-war thing or a pre-pre-war thing? They were a pre-pre-war thing. Because Dinky may look friendly, but judging by those teeth, I wouldn't invite him over for dinner. Nah. Howdy. I know I said that sexy robots... Yeah, they're great. They are. Sexy robots. I love sexy robots. Yeah, don't, just not with Andrea. I'm not going to make a broad assumption on all sexy robots, but Andrea, no, 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 no. What don't you like about Andrea? I, I do lots of things, lots of things about what happened in that shack that after this discussion will never come up again. So, how many fingers did she use? Let's talk about something else. Oranges are nice, huh? Boy, <laughs> oranges. Yeah, huh? I think that's an orange tree right over there. Let's go check that out. Yeah. I don't know what happened in there. All I heard was screaming and mechanical noises. I think that sums it up. Also, rutabagas, apparently. I don't Rutabaga think... was supposed to be the safe word. Your safe word is rutabaga? Yeah. Why? Because that's a very unsexy word. Yes. <laughs> Let's say that you are in mid-coitus and your partner begins shouting at you, rutabaga, rutabaga. Even if that isn't your safe word, you're probably going to stop just on the fact that someone just started yelling rutabaga at you. Maybe she's confusing me for her previous boyfriend, Mr. Rutabaga. Oh, Lord. Why are you still alive? Why would he be dead? Just because I killed him before. No, you didn't. Um, right. I did. Pretty sure I would have remembered that. I'm pretty sure I did kill him before. If you kill him, how are you going to be able to solve that quest to stop the drug dealer? You just have high enough charisma, which I don't have. Oh, that's right. I can't kill him. Why would you Screw want- Screw it, better to have loved and lost! <laughs> Dixon is dead! And mutilated! Dead! These children don't seem to be bothered by the fact that I just murdered someone in front of them. Oh god, because I see it every day when these thugs attack! I'm not a thug, I'm a carpenter! Ow, oh, my leg! Carpenters! <laughs> Mike, I am the haunted mailbox. Oh, Ooh. not again. If I had a dollar for every time haunted postal equipment tried to contact me, I'd have a dollar. I'd have, I'd have $368.12. <laughs> Where do the 12 cents come from? Uh, tax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're supposed to meet up with some mysterious old man here. Yes, that was the goal. All right. Not killing the carpenters was the goal as well, but I guess we failed that optional well, objective. it's fine. Somebody else will be a carpenter. This right here is actually a trade school where they teach carpentry. Ah, yes. That explains why all those boards are... Yeah, it's the boards. That's actually step one of the entrance exam is to get through. Ah, <laughs> very clever. You have clever. to pull all the boards off. That's how you get in. Just to know you're good with your hands. Mm -hmm. Very clever. This one is not the uh, carpentry school, though. That's just a closed-off building. They get confused a lot. They do get confused a lot. People end up tearing all the boards off the closed-off building. The city has spent a lot of money to keep boarding that building off. <laughs> it's actually owned by the township. Wait, do we have killable kids installed? Yeah, we do, because it was definitely you who killed all those kids during Boone's Quest. You know, I think that you are pro It wasn't me! You're the <laughs> one that killed children! I didn't know- I, No, neither of us killed children. <laughs> the children got killed because there were a bunch of vile vagrants in there. I think little Sally will be okay. Oh, is he fine? Uh, uh, that's oh, no, he's dead. Oh, God, you killed Rotface. <laughs> no, no, we have to undo. We can't let Rotface be dead. Oh, look, they've got sandals made on a tire. <laughs> oh, is it, if that isn't the cutest and saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Damn. Carpenter's back. He's purple. Gonna hammer your nails. Oh, my, no one touched my blueberry pie. <laughs> <laughs> get him, Hope. Hope, get him. Show them how carpentry really is done. Show them how to carpent. <laughs> is carpent a verb? Uh, it is now. I just made it one. Hope, why aren't you getting him? 
I love it when her hitting somebody is just obstructed by something. <laughs> Hope! Hope, what? who did you just kill? Two people is fine, but three is a rampage. This is unacceptable. Who did you just kill, Hope? Oh, it's another free side thug. <laughs> wow. No, We're it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> We're... Hang on. Just another vagrant, huh? Oh, look, the rat's back! Uh, <laughs> the rat's dead. Whoa! Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that time. That was a negligent discharge. Itchy trigger finger? Zach, I'm, I might have to take that weapon away from I you. I put it away, I put it away. It's yeah. fine, I cleared it and put it away. Mike, where are you? Irresponsible gun owner. Oh. Don't you dare say I'm an irresponsible gun owner. People will think that's true. Ah. This is our contact. This must be him. Ah, our contact, old man, <laughs> old man. Is that a, one of Dixon's... A <laughs> uh, piece of freeside thug just appeared here. <laughs> This freeside thug's liver has learned quantum teleportation. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a liver that knows quantum teleportation. I've seen spleens with telekinesis, but you're right, livers with teleportation. When did you see spleens with telekinesis? How, how have you not? There's like a swarm of them taking over Novak. Do you have some time for an old man? <laughs> I occasionally have time for older men. Why do you ask? <laughs> That's I'm kind of gay. <laughs> I need your help, though. What do you need our help with? I haven't heard from my friends for a couple of days, and now I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty worried about him. <laughs> yeah, you sound worried about him. I have a mental condition. Can you um go look for him? I say um like that because it makes it sound really weird. I also spell um o o m e. <laughs> I've noted that. I no, I, I'm lying. I haven't noted that. That seems completely irrelevant to the conversation. Everything that I say appears in a text box two feet in front of me. <laughs> but anyway, they live inside this building behind me. Why don't you just walk through the door and check it out yourself? They told me I'm not allowed to come inside. I smell too bad. I pee my pants. And also, there's one time when I went in there, I uh, put a bunch of leeches all over the place. Uh, I don't understand why they would have a problem with your presence. I will go look into this issue for you and make sure that these folks are okay. Thank you! Bloodletting is a traditional practice that should still be used. <laughs> also, vaccines cause autism. Okay, be right back. You give us the fire, we'll give them hell. Let's go, everybody. Keep them firing. It's a nice propaganda poster. That's not bad. It looks okay. Not very snappy, but it works. The call to duty. Join the army for home and country. What's your favorite army motto? The army of one? No, that one's real stupid. I also like the other one. Army strong! Army strong! Army smash! Arr! Army strong! <laughs> <laughs> you no make army angry! You not like army when army angry! <laughs> that was such a... Th Army's had so many bad mottos. I think Be All You Can Be was actually a decent one as far as army mottos go, except that it rhymes, which makes it sound really stupid. Be All You Can Be? Not, not, it doesn't rhyme. It's, the way it's phrased makes it sound dumber than it actually is. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Be the best you can be or something like that. That would have been, that would have been a pretty good one. Be the best version of yourself you could possibly be. Be the best you can I'm be. I'm not going over there. Ah! And so the courier who had ventured Ooh, to unknown is this a screen so show? many times before <laughs> did it once again. No one knows what drives him forward. Maybe riches or glory. Nevertheless, this time he just not might make it. Uh, what just happened? I think we just had a seizure. Can groups have seizures? Because I think we just did. Oh, what have we stumbled into? Bunch of dead Enclave soldiers. Um, hello? Oh, no, it's just commissioned officers. Never mind. Oh, it's officers. Nobody cares about officers. Uh, that, that'll get bumped to page A7. Yeah. That's not even going to make front page If news. it was NCOs, then people would be freaking out. But officers, nobody cares. Now, nah. All I have are uniforms. And this guy's got a Braxo cleaner. This one isn't even an officer. He was just the custodian. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Someone massacred the Enclave. But who could it possibly be? Who could hate the Enclave besides everybody? Besides every single person. Hey, a key card. Under the orders of Commanding Officer M.K., th this intelligence outpost mission is to locate the Mammoth. We have clear orders that this will be our priority from this day onwards. M.K. expects results in two weeks' time, so work hard. Not smart. Hey, I know what mammoths are. They're like big elephants with tusks. 
The big elephants with tusks? Yeah, I've got one question, though. Were mammoths a pre-war thing or a pre-pre-war thing? I thought you were about to say, because Dinky may look friendly, and then I was going to shoot Hope in the face. <laughs> <laughs> this crazy old man keeps harassing our people and demands us to give him work. Can someone do something? <laughs> Well, uh, I don't really know what he expected, considering he wrote that in Microsoft Word. He just saved it to the desktop. It didn't get sent anywhere. It's not an unsent email. It's just something he opened in Notepad. And yeah, he just about. typed that in Notepad and wrote, Can somebody do something? There's nothing else to do in here. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just let him know that all of his colleagues that he wants to be friends with are dead. I've got you What? Now. Whoa, whoa, we're under attack. Whoa, hold on. What? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He killed old man! My notes. My notes. My lovely homeless notes. <laughs> uh, he, oh, wow. He had an anti-material rifle. And agent's mission. Agent had a note on his body. And sold an old man. I finally tracked down these enclave bastards. <laughs> they have some kind of hidden spy house in Freeside. My next goal is to infiltrate them. They've accepted me. I'm now their official courier. I already have a plan to kill these sick bastards in their bunker. <laughs> I brought some gas from the local gun dealer. I don't know why a gun dealer was selling gas, but that's where I got it from. It should be enough to make all of them unconscious, and then I can slip in. <laughs> the plan worked. Now they are all unconscious. Conscious, but there is a slight problem. They managed to power up the invisible electricity barrier. It would be dangerous to walk into it. I need to find someone. Can I just say, it's so nice for him to lay out his evil schemes and notes like this, step by step, so we know exactly what happened. Yeah, it's refreshing. I found someone to go in. He deactivated the barrier by walking into it. He seems to still be alive, but just unconscious. I slaughtered every one of those bastards, and it feels good. Wait, someone is approaching. There is blood splattered all over the note. <laughs> <laughs> Mission briefing. Secure the package and deliver it to me at the camp east of Devil's Throat. You have the green light to kill anyone who interferes with your mission. M.K. Sounds like M.K. ordered a hit on this guy. It what? was the M.K. Ultra program. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Uh, that was a CIA covert program in the 60s through the 80s to try and see if they could... Uh, basically, it was developing torture techniques. Oh... Cool. Yeah. You will never guess who was one of the members of the MK Ultra program. Who could it possibly have been? Ted Kaczynski. I don't know who that is. The Unabomber. I don't know who that is. You don't know who the Unabomber is? Not really, no. He made a bunch of bombs and blew up people. <laughs> he, I would, if your name he, is the Unabomber, I would imagine that to be what you do, he yeah? He made a bunch of homemade bombs and sent them to people. And a lot of people, they read his manifesto that he wrote because he demanded it be put into a paper or he was going to blow up more people. Okay. A lot of people thought it was because he hated industrialization and consumerism, but it was partially because he wanted to get a gender reassignment surgery and he was turned down. He was just kind of a transsexual and he, he was, couldn't get a surgery. That's part of it, is he was pissed off about that. I think that he shouldn't have blown up those people. He probably shouldn't have. Find out what the hell is going on by following the <laughs> <those> direction. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go find out what the hell is going on. Let's go to Bitter Springs. I'm sure they'll welcome us with open arms after we rescued them. The ones that didn't die. Oh, no, there's Legion dogs here. They're going to kill the kids. No, there can't be Legion dogs here. We killed them. I just saw a bunch of Legion dogs go running up this. Oh, they're dead now. Well, that's odd. I don't think I've seen that happen before. <laughs> Ooh, this is having some weird texture issues, and it's making it look far more gross than it usually would. <laughs> that actually looked yeah. foul, like oh, this. The loose hair. <laughs> oh, that looks disgusting. Here, Mike, touch this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you in it. It's real close to the edge. What are you doing? Hey, you're trying to push. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> I'm fine, don't worry. Should we ask this cactus which way to go? It's pointing straight up, so let's ascend into the heavens. Come forth, my child. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mike. I go off to a better place. It's <laughs> not no clip, and I'll just start going straight up. <laughs> Can we do that? Goodbye, Mike. I ascend to a better place. I hope that this world will treat you better than it's treated me, which is like shit. God, don't listen to his lies. He's lying. Whatever he says, he's just saying it to get past the gates. 
Kick him down here! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you Zank Morland? Y yes Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted Zank Finland. Oh, that's a common mistake. It happens a lot. All right, well, down you go. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What'd you find? Plains Republic Camp Entrance. I said whoa because there's a really big thing right there. I really... Oh, that's a dead thing, though, so... It's a really fucking big dead thing. Wow, these guys have, like, modern military gear. And... M1 Garands? So not so modern after all. <laughs> well, they're wearing, like, chocolate shit military uniforms, and they've got, like, a modern plate carrier. Yeah, look, they actually have, like, semi-modern gear. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. They also don't have anything to say but to that me. That guy's got shotgun. He's got a belt of shotgun shells around his chest, but he's not wielding a shotgun. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Maybe he's got, like, a breacher shotgun tucked into his pocket. Stop right there! This is a restricted area! Military personnel only! I was in the military, and so was Mike. The proud nation of the Plains Republic has made camp here, but I cannot allow you to enter! The fuck is the Plains Republic?! Calm down! We are not here to pillage and murder! Most of the time. Leave now, and you will not get hurt! Um, I don't want to leave now, and why don't you tell me who you are? I don't take orders from you, but since you insist, my name's Captain Tom Neville, Plains Republic Army. Now leave! I will not ask again! Do you need any help? Nah, yeah, kinda, okay. maybe. Uh, he waffled fast. <laughs> I might have a job for you, depending on how competent you are. Oh, I assure you, I'm mostly incompetent. That sounds pretty good to me. I have sent a squad of troopers a couple days ago to scout the wasteland, and none of them came back. Find them, report back to me. Uh, where should I start looking for them? That is a damn good question. The wasteland. I guess you could try Cottonwood Cove. I think I might have sent one of them there. Wasn't really paying attention. Just get told to go explore the wasteland. A vague general order. Did you just throw a dart at a map and wherever it stuck you told him to go that way? We don't have maps! What is this, the army? <laughs> <laughs>